Hey guys, Fusebox here, and I want to go over Vizier Ovelis. You can see I'm not rolled up, not built all the way out. Uh, I'm waiting for this event, but I'm I'm just I'm ready to show him off. He he can do what he needs to do to show off his his abilities. Uh, real quick, I hope everybody had good luck with their uh, their 10x pools. I'm sure most of you tried for it. The double Lego. All three of my accounts hit it. I only had to buy one of the cheaper shard packs this morning. I, I literally woke up before I had even wiped my eyes. I pulled uh, Trunda and Septimus in one pull. Neither one of them are dupes. Obviously, I'm stupid excited. I hope everybody else had good luck. Um, it's still going on, so there's still a shot. But... All right, Vizier, what can he do for you? He's known for the clan boss simply because of his A1. It's a three hitter, that's great. Take Giant Slayer, do a lot of damage. Each hit has a 35% chance, this is unbooked, a 35% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs by one turn. That's three hits, each one with a chance to increase all of those debuffs against the clan boss. And that does go up to a 50% per swing absolutely disgusting and amazing it, it's got uses far beyond just the clan boss but it is one of a kind unique it's the best ability to de increase all the debuffs uh, now his a2 actually brings decrease attack he could bring that for you on the clan boss it just comes with some other debuffs that you really don't want up that's why you see everybody using a1 for like nine rounds before they hit auto they don't want these up until until it's time to actually hit auto and you've got all those poisons and decrease down and weaken all saved up maxed out uh, so we'll kind of go over it but this is great for other places block buffs is amazing um, on on everywhere you go blocking buffs in arena on faction wars doom tower even on bosses uh, decrease attack is wonderful you got a 50% chance that goes up to 75 on both of those and a 100% heal reduction debuff uh, that can be clutch on like the spirit keep in arena all of these are good moves you just uh, you just don't want to land all of these on the clan boss now this is great this spreads any two random debuffs to all enemies this can be used to do some things that you would not normally be able to do also it places a perfect veil on him for three turns uh, if the target's under two or more debuffs and his passive gives him a perfect veil for two turns at the start of each round a little redundant on that a pretty good aura for dungeons by the way 34 percent attack in all dungeons for all allies he's he's a solid character through and through he does amazing damage now a lot of times you'll see people building him for clan boss so he might have a mixture of defense instead of attack i'm, I'm kind of a mixture I, i'm not even built out you see i'm not rolled up but I'm already getting kind of a mixture of attack and defense, uh, working on crit rate, crit damage. Uh, just just days away, just days away from me pushing into his limit. But let's look at masteries. We don't have to go over these too long. If you need the accuracy, you're gonna have to have it. So you can go down the accuracy tree, maybe take make your you take your lore of steel, uh, possibly possibly evil eye if you need it. Uh, Master Hexer could be cool to land those debuffs for longer. Sniper, if you want to increase those odds by an extra 5%. But down here, you're basically going straight for War Master. I mean, Giant Slayer, sorry. He has a 3-hitter on his A1. You're going to use it a lot. You're going to you're gonna want this guy on Clan Boss. So, kind of a Clan Boss build. Chance for him to counterattack. And it's debatable. You might actually want to take deterrence. So, that every time that stun hits, he takes a counterattack. But he uses his A1 so much, Methodical's great. And don't forget, we're going to get control of this guy soon. When you go on the clan boss, you could make him always use his A1. So so I definitely like Methodical on this guy. Can't pass up Giant Slayer. He's amazing. He's also the right affinity to go into the Fire Knight and do amazing work with that 3-hit A1. Uh, let's just show off some of the stuff he can do. Because before we jump in the clan boss, I have not used this guy at all like at all obviously he's not even rolled up but i know he's got the numbers he's got the accuracy that he needs to be doing what he needs to do so if we go into let's go into a dungeon all right i don't know if this is going to actually pull it off you'd have to make a team let, let me build a team i'll be right back okay whether we get all the way through this or not is beside the fact this is what you could do with him like if you did not have an hp burn strategy and you're struggling on the spider 
you can take somebody like Bulwark, who can land HP burn. Now, my Bulwark is built very slow, but we're going to use him to prove the point. We might not even sit through this whole thing. And then take a bunch of people to control the, sp the Spiderlings and somebody to do some turn meter control. Alright. The, the plan, this won't be speed tuned. If Bulwark were faster, we could actually pull this off. But we can at least show the point of what we're trying to do here. We're just protect our team. Start out by giving us ourselves protection. Probably go for some stuns. Anything to control these spiderlings for now. Slow would be nice if we could land it. We didn't. But we do want to control turn meter. So we're going to keep that turn meter down on the on the mother spider. Uh, Vizier, it, now if he went after Bulwark, this would be perfect. Right now, he's just going to A1. It's not his chance. Uh, now he's the wrong affinity. A weak hit could make this go south. But we're gonna, we'll try to freeze some of these spiders. Now Bulwark's finally up. We want to land. HP burn. And then maybe a slow. We get another shot at it. Didn't get it. Alright. Turn meter control. We actually missed that too. So what we're going to do is show what this can do. It's not going to work out too well because of because of the miss, unlucky misses. But you take that HP burn spread it to all the spiderlings and now you just try to control them with stuns freezes we'll see if we can slow that mother spider enough to get back around to turn now i don't think we if this was tuned right speed tuned right we'd be fine but we'll go ahead and try to protect everybody now we actually will heal up every time an hp burn goes so we're just going to kind of sit here and a1 this mother spider while these spiderlings do whatever they want to do and look at that twice out of those three hits we increased all of those debuffs on the mother spider the only problem is i don't think i have quite enough turn meter control i, I better check my armor gear and see if i played around with his gear so i'm scared if i go for the freeze that i might kill I might kill these spiderlings i'm just gonna take the hits I, I don't i don't know that we're getting through this but look at how much damage we've done in one round of this and we're almost ready to put hp burn back up this is without any aoe hp burn on our team and the spider is almost dead Let's see so now we'll just we'll just continue continue what we're doing we just don't have enough turn meter control to do it in one shot. This spider's gonna get a turn, I'm quite sure. I really should have went ahead and killed the, killed these weak spiders off. So she took her heal. We won't sit through the whole thing. We could still probably cycle around to it. But you see how that spread could be clutch. Could absolutely change your game if only bulwark were actually faster to go before in between all of them before vizier went that's all we really would need um and you can take him somewhere all right like let's go to fire knight and create a team i'll be right back all right so hopefully seal can keep us healed up uh in the horrible gear i have at this moment but he actually has Oh, what have I done? There he is. He actually has an amazing aura lead to help with attack. That's for all uh, these three champions anyway. Cold Heart will be important at the end. Uh, but you can take somebody like Rosin. Three hit A1. Three hit A1 for Vizier. Four, three, and two. This is a great team as far as breaking down the shield. But let's look at what all he brings other than that. So let's come in here. We're going to leave it off of auto. You can come in here and plant your decrease defense and weaken and we get it for now we can probably go for the the sleep there uh you know i, I should have left that alone i should have left that alone but that's all right what we're going to do now is spread debuffs uh, now it is at random will it be that decrease defense and weaken it actually was really cool now everybody's brought down now we're just gonna go ahead and let this auto there's no point in sitting through discussing how you can take a rosin to get both debuffs if you had them speed tuned again your first two moves could place both of those debuffs spread it to all the enemies and it's like having a draco on your team but uh and you see how he continuously is increasing those debuffs on people it's just absolutely cool as can be 
So this is just going to be a rough little fight getting through a couple of waves, but on the boss, we can do some amazing things as well. Uh, and don't forget, one day we're going to have control over how he uses his abilities. You can set it up for different dungeons. Absolutely amazing. Uh, he's definitely got some cool uses, and there's no point in taking him to the Spirit Keep. I don't even think it's up. It may be, actually. But there's no point in taking him there. I'm sure that you understand how good... Uh, the heal reduction is there and look at he's doing real damage and he's, you saw the gear and how low it's rolled up right now and he's he's hitting for really good damage here his a2 or 3 hit for 30,000 is his three hitters hitting well he's a strong champ if you build him for pure damage he does amazing damage like top tier damage uh, which on an unkillable team again I'm that may be the, I may end up having to try to fit him in to my unkillable all right, let's get to this boss and kind of kind of go through it on manual since I'm sure the AI, even though it works good for for Cold Heart, it doesn't work good for everybody. So let's make this work. All right, so we've got Rosin with his three hits to break that shield down. We've got an A1 with three hits here. We've got four hits coming in here. The shield's already down. So here we're gonna go for slow, nice. And here, if you were scared of the shield going down, you've got that heal reduction, decrease attack, and block buffs you can put, which isn't that big a deal. But the other two are amazing for putting up. But really, you can keep that slow. Look, we increased it to four turns already. And we know that we've got ourselves, we can actually put this on auto at this point because we've got a lure. We're not worried about a thing. Perfect perfect to bring here and he's increasing the attack of three of my champions with his aura he's great for fire knight without a doubt and you saw my build i kind of let's see how this even ends he may actually even actually add up to doing damage that's worth uh, noting but uh the ability to spread you can get creative with that and uh, all of it the all of those debuffs that you don't really want to use on the clan boss on almost every other area of the game you do want to use those debuffs so he has an amazing kit uh, you just you just got to be able to control what you do and don't want to use in certain areas that's really it but look at the, look at the number on those debuffs up there like nothing is going to ever wear out <laughs> look he increased every debuff that's that increase that decrease speeds at eight now an eight stack He's, he's amazing. He's, he's just a one-of-a-kind champ. I mean, there are champions that can do it, but not like him. Uh, in the arena, yeah, am I going to be able to pull this off in his gear? I really don't know. Really don't know. But let's, let's try... If we bring... They don't really have... Uh, not worried about their heels. Uh, he, he, we're not going to be showing him off that well in here, not not to be honest. But but we will use him. We will use him. So we're gonna we won the speed fight just barely. Here, I really want to take down everybody's uh, turn meter. And in the end, Lord Shazar is really all about killing people himself. But he is the wrong affinity here, so we might need some help. Now, I'm curious if you can spread debuffs. Look at that. Look at that. We just broke the game. That's Lord Shazar's bombs. Two bombs will kill almost anybody. Four bombs, it doesn't matter what happens now. It doesn't even matter. So you can take those two and stack them on top of the other two. That's disgusting. That is like, that is gonna be, if I wonder, I gotta see real quick. I have to see if the AI uses that move though. I really doubt it does. I'm quite sure that it won't, quite sure. <sighs> Let's see. I mean, I'm even scared to try because I know it won't work. But doing that yourself, is disgusting like <laughs> that needs to be noted for sure all right so here we go on their own we're gonna speed up we should uh ooh, they cut in a little but they got a valkyrie 
Hopefully we'll take down their turn meter with rosin here in a second. Take down the turn meter. Uh, they put they put a stun on Lord Shazar. This isn't gonna actually show us what we want to see. Yeah, it's not actually gonna show us what we want to see. We'll speed this up and let it play through. Um, it was an unfortunate stun we got that just ruined the whole plan. Unless we get a reset now, okay. Look, I, I, I seriously doubt that's going to work on auto, but that is absolutely disgusting. Like, I, I, I almost just want to see it again, guys. I really, I really just want to see it again. I need to win the speed fight to make sure this works. Um, like that Chris. Chris is so nasty. If we win the speed fight, let's see if we can blow Chris up. All right, here we go. We won the speed fight, but barely. I'm looking at our speeds here. I'm going. I'm gonna at the risk of losing because of this. I shouldn't have done that. That's all right. We we have. It, it's not gonna matter. We we have this. Now here's where we want to land. Hopefully, hopefully bombs on almost everybody, especially Chris. We did. So we want to spread those two bombs everywhere. We got. We got three on him. That's not bad. Bombs ignore defense completely. And on one turn, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, we do want to make sure that... Let's, let's kind of watch that. Who's next? Chris is about to go. Bad Hill is about to go too. He's got four on him. I, you know, We're just going to do this. I want to see what four bombs do. They blow him up. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I love it. We, we've got to take care of her. Now let's see what three bombs do to Chris. They eat him up. They just Did you see that? Just eat him up. This might be my new meta. Maybe not yours, but I may be playing with this team. Man, I, and I still am going to make him faster and stronger. He'll be of more use to me. So guys, all the amazing things he can do. I'm not going to drag him into the clan boss at his low speed with his low gear and not having a speed tuning team. That's for another day. I'm going to make that team. But uh, I'm definitely going to explore him in the arena some more. What he did with Lord Shazar is just absolutely amazing. Uh, you know what he does on the clan boss. He just continuously makes every debuff last forever until they're so high up you can hit auto and they never run out. It lets you bring in a weaker poisoner and get the same job done with a stronger team. That's it guys. He's, he's absolutely amazing. If you get Vizier, if you don't have him, put him on your wish list. This guy, who knows the creative ideas that you may have out there. Drop them in the comments. This guy, can, you can think out of the box with a hero like this. So that's it. We're going to cut it short. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, enjoy the grind.